Hello guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to give people access to your Facebook Ads account. So here I am in Facebook Ads Manager. If you're not here and you're inside of Meta Business Suite, head up into your old tools and select Ads Manager and that will take, to, take you to your Ads Manager, which is the best place to manage your ads. Now, if you wanna add someone like a colleague or someone who's your friend on Facebook to your, ads manager, to your ads account, the best way to do that is go to business settings down the bottom. And I'll explain this as we go through this. We're then gonna to go to ads account and then we're gonna select our own ad account that we wanna add people to. And it might be this one here, for example. And then we would then add that person in here. And if we don't have them in here, the way we do it is we go back up to people we add them as a person in here and we can enter their Facebook name to add them in here, for example, and we can find them. So keep in mind, this is what you do when you um, are adding someone that's a friend or a colleague, works in the same company as you essentially. If you want to give another company access to your ads account, this might be good for an agency, the way you do it is you go to your partners and you want to add a new partner. This means they're partnering with your business and you're gonna give, give them access to some assets like your Facebook ad account and they're gonna be able to give that to their employees in turn. So we're gonna give, give a partner access to your assets, which is what we wanna be doing. So we would then put in their partner business ID, which they will supply you. For example, your business ID is up here. They will need to supply that. Keep in mind, we are inside our business account. Now your business account houses all of your Facebook related stuff. So it might be your Instagram page, your Facebook account, your ad account, your pixel. So they all sit under a business account. So you will need to be doing this inside of your business account. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't hesitate to leave a comment with any questions you have and I'll speak to you next time.